Women's World, proudly brought to you by Jacks of PNG. I am Miriam and thank you so much for joining me on this episode. The PNG Fashion Week since its inception in 2015 brought to rise and fame local designers from across the country. The founder and director Janet Seo says this year's runway, the PNG Fashion Week 2020, will be a virtual runway with their theme, Empowering Youth Through Fashion. Therefore, on this episode, our feature story will be based on Naomi Tom, one of the participants of the workshops, which is an initiative of the PNG Australian Partnership. Workshops which, yes, encourage people from different walks of life, both male and female, to enroll in training or, yes, workshops to upskill themselves in the art of design and textile. We'll be speaking to Naomi Tom together with other representatives from the PNG Fashion Week. Fashion and Design Week, a recognized platform in the country that promotes the craft of fashion and art through the clothing and textile industry. One that is new to PNG with recognized creative designers in which through this platform we have seen raise the bar throughout the years. With the upcoming and rise of designers such as Sarah Howder Todd, Natasha Tamanabai, Anna Amos, Genevieve Igara Falevai, to name a few. With this year's theme being empowering youth through fashion, PNG Fashion and Design Week strives to promote the need for youth empowerment and development, especially youths who have the potential to contribute to the fashion industry in PNG. The director and founder of PNG Fashion and Design Week, Janet Sios, has uttermost belief in the potential the industry has in the country, given our diverse cultures and traditional styles that can be used to promote our country on an international level. PNG Fashion and Design Week, as you all know, it's actually a 100% owned PNG company. It does event fashion and it is the leader in terms of growing the industry in Papua New Guinea. Our vision is basically to be a leading and high quality culture and creative hub in the Pacific region. Fiji is the major player at the moment. Their, their industry was mostly dominant by sugar for a long, long time. Fashion is now number three earner for Fiji. Um, they employ about more than 20,000 uh, uh, workforce in Fiji. They are affected at the moment with the COVID-19, but they are the leaders in the Pacific region. So Papua New Guinea, I felt those years going back and having a vision for this industry, I felt that Papua New Guinea, we have more to offer as um, a culture full of cultures, rich in cultural um, and tradition and ways of doing things in Papua New Guinea, those can be not just kept in, a, in, in us, we must be able to look outside, uh, look outside and create, um, uh, create something with it to earn income for our people and generate uh, revenue for our people. And that was the, the vision we had, is to grow a sustainable um, industry, fashion industry in Papua New Guinea. And I'm pretty sure looking around the country now, uh, with those 600 people that we've empowered and we've given so much opportunities, they are growing and they are uh, doing the things that we wanted to set out to do in the industry. So that, that's a really good news. So, uh, yeah, so I've highlighted the four runways that we've um, done of success stories. We've developed people like um, Annette Sete, as we said, Natasha Tamanabai, and, and many more over the years. This year we want to highlight it a bit more because we feel strongly that our youth are the marginalized people in our in this country 
and the work we are doing, we don't need, you don't need a degree, a diploma. You don't need major stuff. You just need a determination to learn how to convert your design from your brain onto a piece of paper, from that piece of paper to the fabric, like, like these ones. So that's what we're teaching them. So we're excited again for this year's program to continue to go on rather than leave a gap this year because we want the platform to continue its momentum of creating the bars and the information and the growth of the fashion industry in Papua New Guinea. Do not underestimate fashion in the world. It's a trillion market, it's a trillion industry, and we in Papua New Guinea must step into that a little bit and get some of that because it's a big market. Anna Amos, known for her Tribal Bride collection, which was introduced at Project Runway in 2017, is one of PNG's premier fashion designers. Her label, Tribal AA, continues to set the bar with its unique and diverse use of cultural elements integrated into contemporary pieces. She is a classic depiction of the role PNG women have in the fashion, design and textile industry here in the country. The fashion industry is one of the industry very new to Papua New Guinea and um, for us who are in this uh, field it's like it's something very challenging for us to come out and try to tell others that you know this is a new industry. People will be thinking what is all these things about but it's all about clothing. The clothes you are wearing is inspired by something and that something is like created within us and then we come out, we translate it onto uh, papers and then eventually it goes on to the fabric, both textiles and fashion style, it goes well together. Uh, I am so privileged to work with um, PNG Fashion and Design Week, uh, Ms. Sios with um, a team. They really reach out to, you know, as the established designers as well as um, designers who are inspired by this industry but um, they don't have the opportunity to come out. So this um, PNG Fashion and Design um, is really a place where it really gives the opportunity for the underprivileged or those ones who don't know where to go. So it's a place for us, for everyone to come and um, really express and uh, want people to really see the potential in us. So um, in that, you know, I was... Um, taken as a design, um, trainer on board, and I try to um, reach out to, you know, those potential ones, you know, you have all the things there, but you don't really know how to bring it out. The a platform really uh, gives us the venue where we kind of um, tell everyone <clears throat> how to bring the skills out. And we see that it's a really, um, the project goes very, very well. We really reach out to those who are, um, those who are very creative, but um, who cannot showcase in other ways, uh, other play venues. But uh, we give them the challenge and we give them the space to come out and then really um, express themselves. And now we are very excited that you know whatever we impart them, the skills, the knowledge, we really want to see in this um, runway. And we are so excited that uh, the knowledge that we've given to them is like it's uh, first class to my knowledge. So um, I am very excited to uh, see the emerging designers on the runway. Please stay with us as coming up next, we speak to Naomi Tom, this year's brand ambassador for PNG Fashion Week. Naomi Tom, a young 23-year-old, began her story as a bitternut seller out from her home suburb of Tokarara here within the nation's capital. Upon completion of the PNG Fashion Week training which was held last year, Naomi was able to enhance and develop her designing skills and create a brand and pattern of her own under her brand, Alo Tattoo Designs. Uh, one of my aunt who works at Paradise Private Hospital informed me about the training workshop for PNG Fashion and Design Week in 2018 and I went and take part. Because it was all about fashion and design, 
I have to take part because I love designing and a little bit of fashion on it. To become a businesswoman and use my title to inspire youths in PNG. My main supporters are my families, but not forgetting my uncle, Mr. Michael Wagambe. Always have faith in me and helps me and support me out. The challenges I face is I don't want to be better in the family, doing nothing at home. But as I joined PNG Fashion and Design Week training and became a designer, I always tell myself, Naomi, you can do it. As for now, I am working plus designing and sewing at home. If you want to find my garments or design, come to Joey's Tailoring or you can check my page Alotatue on Facebook. The story behind my design is that the design is a clan design from my mother's homeland in the central province, Mashalagon. The traditional design is commonly used as a tattoo by elderly women or young girls that get their menstruation for, for the first time. Which means, as for now, I don't think they use that culture, but most of the young girls, they love the traditional tattoo because this tattoo is unique. For me, I seriously don't know how to sew, but through that um, training workshop, I learned myself how to sew. And my encourage to the youths or ladies out there, my message is um, never give up of what you want to become. My message to youths is opportunity comes once, which means um, take a risk and go for it. You never know what might happen tomorrow. In 2017, I did, I was continuous student, but I was sick. Then I left school. I upgraded my marks at Ford, but I gave up in 2018 because the system at Ford was slow. Therefore, I stayed home, did minor family businesses, helping out where necessarily. I did that almost five to six months in the middle of that same year. One of my aunt told us, my sister and I, about a PNG fashion and design training workshop that lasted for two weeks and we attended our training. Last year I took part in ICE fashion show and I take part as a designer and I became third place in as a designer, as my model to Mr. Paul Pumungo, yeah. And I use my um, um, tattoo design, which is called Alo Tattoo Wear. And I do, do my outfit out of that design. I put my design into an outfit. This year I'll take part in the big fashion show, which is um, 2020 runway. I think it will be held at December 19. So I'll take part as a designer. Uh, I would like to thank my families, especially my families. Um, my uncle, Mr. Michael Wagambi, um, helping me out with machine and helping have faith in me that I can do that. So he's the one like helping us every day. Apart from the active participation of our women in the fashion industry, there is also the participation of men who have continuously supported the fashion and design industry in the country through the design and creative work out forth. Being an industry that supports people from different walks of life, PNG Fashion Industry believes in equal opportunities for all. I'm Daniel. My name is Daniel and uh, uh, I would like to thank fashion and design for giving us this opportunity for people like us with disability to include in a event such as this. I'm really happy and excited. For me personally, I have this talent that I'm a drawer. I do, the, I do drawing and such. But I'm really grateful for Janet and Fashion design for giving this opportunity. So hopefully, uh, to promote design to promote the, in terms of disability. Thank you. Um, 
our runway is going to be a virtual show. Um, I'm not going to be giving out too much because we want it to be a surprise and because this is a first of its kind program um, for our country. Um, we want to make it, we want to set benchmark in terms of um, how we present it um, because around the world we're having, with COVID-19, we're having um, business done more online and virtual and so that's the option we have taken up. We want to do, in line with our theme, we also want to do, you know, promote the country in terms of tourism. And so we will be shooting our models in different locations of the country, which would include Goroka and um, Alatau. And we're hoping that we have um, enough support to go to uh, Rabaul um, and then and, and Chimbu, Mount Wilhelm. So um, that, that's what we're going to be doing, showcasing our country, the beautiful beaches and the locations that we have, and of course, along with what our designers can create for us this year. Coming up next, we speak to Anna Amos and her participants from this year's PNG Fashion Week and Design Training. Hello, if you could just briefly introduce yourself for us and also um, share insight as to why you decided to be a part of this um, design program. Thank you. Uh, my name is Velina Kilori. I'm from Central Mix, Milan Bay. The reason why I joined this program is to learn about sewing and learning new styles and patterns. What do you actually hope to um, achieve through this whole program? Like, what do you hope one of the outcomes will be? Okay. In the near future, I would like to learn and teach my small ones at the house or at home or with families. Yeah. Um, my name is Lynette Kevaru. I'm from Gulf, Western Orient Central. Uh, why I'm here is to, to be part of this training. And I want to learn like new things like arts and craft, uh, sales and marketing. Um, it will help me to be who I am in the future as well. Uh, what is one outcome you hope you will achieve at the end of the 13-day workshop? Um, I want to learn the skills today that can help me to to like look after my kids or my family in the future as well. Thank you. Uh, my name is Lee and my surname is Vele and I'm from Gulf and Central. Uh, like it was my big brother used to work here. He told me that there was a training gonna take in place. Sometimes I like to try new things like I can get used to. Uh, I want to be a top designer in PNG. Like also I try to be a part of this training and also this training helps me to do better and also achieve that goal. I am the head trainer for uh, PNG Fashion and Design Week. Uh, I am happy to run this training for 2020 because we are working with um, young people, empowering young people through uh, fashion design. And um, I am happy because um, it uh, it gives us it gives me the um, 
the pleasure to uh, work with young people and see how they grow in this industry. During our last three training from Lay to um, Kokopo and back to Mosby, there's a lot of um, people living with disabilities. Yes, um, it's not new. They are just like us, but just, you know, a few, few problems that they, uh, they have that... Um, Disables, disables them to take part as no, uh, normal human being, but otherwise, you know, we function as human being. Whatever we give, they take it. So I am here to guide them and uh, empower them with the skills that they will um, use in the long run. We've been to other parts of um, the country and going to Alatau and um, uh, Goroka is like the same feeling, the excitement of uh, going there, meeting, you know, people who are interest, having interest in um, textiles and fashion. Um, we are happy to empower them, and we are looking po uh, forward to work with them and uh, their skills and knowledge, so uh, it can help them in the long run. Thank you so much for joining me, but unfortunately, that is all we have for you in this episode of Women's World. If you would like to know more about PNG Fashion Week 2020, you're most welcome to reach out to them through the link which is appearing on your screen now. Also, if you have interest in being one of their models to be featured on the virtual runway, which will be happening here in Port Moresby in December, please contact them through the same link. If you'd like to know more about Women's World, if you'd like to be featured here on our program with your own story, please reach out to us through the link which is provided on your screen now. Also, simply by liking our Facebook page and sending us a message. Until next time, I am Miriam Rakune. Please join me on the next episode of Women's World. This program proudly brought to you by Jacks of PNG.